Hey guys, and welcome back to Thames Fluence. This is my desk in use. And as you can see, there are wires on the table. There's usually a lot more wires on charging my phone and my AirPods. I have to shift the devices around depending on what I'm using that day. So I have access to the keyboard or access to my iPad to write on it. And most importantly, ergonomically, my neck would be in a lot of pain after a day spent at my desk. I was always looking down towards my laptop instead of straight ahead. I didn't want to get anything additional for my desk apart from the essentials, my laptop and the electronics, just because I honestly didn't think I would need them. But with the amount of time I spend at my desk, it sort of became something I wanted to invest in more and more. With the first semester of uni done, I thought that my desk needed an upgrade. When I'm working here, it's not like completely terrible. It's not impractical at all. Like I can fully do it. I just know that it could work better. Jumping from Windows to Mac, I feel like my workflow could be better. And I feel like I wouldn't have so many stop and starts if I just had things to help me switch between devices easier. And it sounds really like extra and honestly it is like my first student desk setup video I filmed a few months ago honestly it's completely fine but if you looked at sort of my side profile when I'm working a lot of the time I get up from my desk and my neck hurts I'm just like oh why is that why does that hurt it's because I've been sitting down you know looking down at my laptop instead of up I edit for hours at a time and I'm also sitting in this chair the majority of the day it's quite important to me that I'm trying to make it as ergonomic as possible I think in previous years of uni. Honestly, in third year, I didn't even have a desk at, in my room at all. I just used the library. I basically hate buying things twice and I don't see the point of going for something cheap and then having to replace it or it's just not fulfilling all your needs. So we're gonna see how we can revamp this desk and make it a bit more ergonomic and improve my workflow. So we're gonna see how we can do that today. So if you clicked on this video, you probably know that I'm unboxing some peripherals for my desk. Anything that's going to improve productivity and make life easier. Okay, we've got a laptop stand in here. We use this to support my MacBook. This is a very small table, guys, so bear with me. We have got also a three-in-one wireless charger. I'm really interested in this actually because I end up charging my phone, charging my AirPods and whatever else needs charging at the same time. So I end up with loads of wires. I think this will make it look a bit sleek. It will eliminate a few wires. I've got... Wow, this is heavy. I've got a keyboard, which I think I'm the most happiest about. I'm so excited to try this out. It definitely costs a pretty penny, but I feel, I really feel like it's gonna be worth it. And I hope it, I hope it, I hope it is. Let's put this to one side. We've also got the matching mouse. This is MX Master 3 for Mac, but I did get it slightly used. I think someone just didn't, just bought it, didn't like it and just returned it. So that's why the packaging is open. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely wipe this down with like antibacterial wipes. I'm so excited. Okay, let's start with the stand. This cost, I can't remember, but I think it cost like 35 and then it had like a three pound off voucher. And I like this because it's an adjustable stand. Most laptop stands that you get aren't adjustable. They're fixed in one position. And I'm not quite sure why people like those as much as they do. For me, it's just not flexible enough for my needs, I feel. So I went with something that was adjustable. This had like 5,000 reviews. And of course I got everything from Amazon. Obviously got Amazon Prime. If you don't have Amazon Prime, what are you doing? Link in the description. So this is what it looks like. It's really solid. It's like, it's metal. It's, how does this work? So this is where the laptop goes because it's got those hooks. It's got like a little silicone grips, which is really nice. They feel like it's going to protect my laptop from this kind of harsh metal. It's got the brand name in the middle there. So this is stiff. But honestly, I think that's what you want. It's actually really good. But we said it can hold up to 44 pounds. If your laptop is heavy, I don't really know how else it would have it would be if it wasn't as stiff. I like this. Let me put my MacBook on it and see what, what it looks like. So it goes like that. Oh, 
Ooh, I feel like a, a proper desk setup person now. Guys, ignore the mess behind me. When you unbox stuff, just things go everywhere. So, okay. So, yeah, as I mentioned, it's, this is a, by a brand called Geekira. It's just a brand on Amazon. Okay, it does. It does come with a cable. This is actually my first wireless charger. I had an iPhone... 7 plus i'm not going to say 8 i had an iphone 7 plus before so i think people were referring to the fact in the reviews that this wire is only a meter you probably need it to be two meters so that is a USB C, which is really good because if it was a micro usb it would be pretty awkward and this part here is usb a i need a brick i need a usb a brick thanks you can also charge it like this so that you can watch stuff as well. It has like a green LED here, so it lights up when you start charging it. Whilst you can charge your phone, you can also charge your AirPods. So the light turning on means that it started to charge. I really like that. Okay, so next up we are going to be unboxing the keyboard. So this is the Logitech MX Keys Plus because just the normal one wasn't available. The only difference between the Plus and the normal one is it has a palm rest. This one is the one that's both for Windows and Mac. So it's not the MX Keys for Mac. I got this one over the other one just because it has... You'll see it when I open it up. I decided to go for this keyboard as expensive as it is because I need it to work with both my laptop, iPad, my my windows computer and this one actually helps your workflow so you can like copy and paste things from your windows to your mac and it can connect to up to three devices which is perfect i can have my uni laptop connected macbook connected and my ipad oh, i can't get out of the box thanks this is what the packaging looks like This is like retail therapy. Pretty solid. Got like a connector. Think for like your Windows laptop if it can't connect wirelessly. There's instructions on here. I think there's also an app where you can configure the keyboard. If you're interested about this specific keyboard, I'm going to do another video on it just so that you guys can really understand why I chose this one and why it's so good, basically. I've also got the palm rest that's in there. So I'm excited for this. This feels really... Okay, and these boxes are just to fill in space. Okay, Logitech. There it is. Ooh. The MX keys for Mac, I think it has a similar color to a MacBook. Whereas this one, I was expecting it to be like all just black or just really dark. Wow, it's actually, I get what people mean when they say it's dense. We are going to unbox this palm rest as well and put this box to one side. Have a look at, oh, this one's nice. Okay. Okay, now I feel special. This is nice. So you do this, wow. I feel like, this is what I've always needed in life. It's soft. This is the kind of comfort you need. So I'm gonna unbox the MX keys. Box is white because it's for Mac. So if you get the keyboard and the box is white, you got it for Mac. If you get the keyboard and the box is black, you've got it obviously for Mac and Windows. I think I should just rip the box. I don't wanna rip the box. The packaging I think was broken. Let's get on to the attraction. Let's open this up. Ooh. This looks nice. It's even got the sticker still attached on the bottom. Look at this. Wow. So this is how it works. Ooh. This was so exciting. Yeah, what is this? Oh, it's a cable. You charge it with a cable as well. I'm sure there's a cable in that box. So it's a USB-C to USB-C. Yes. So I'm going to set all of this up off camera and then come back to you guys with a final, not final, a final desk setup for this unboxing. And you guys will see what everything looks like and how the workflow is.
CV, no C and it's higher than C if you place a song before from mass transfer uh, mass because this is why this is X. It is still the same day. I've literally got everything set up and I'm so, so excited to see how my workflow improves. I can already tell there's a difference in the amount of leaning and shifting things around that I have to do, which is honestly a huge, huge improvement. And I'm going to do a separate video on the MX keys and the mouse as well, because I think they need their own video. Stay tuned for those. But I'm honestly like so happy. I can't believe I didn't do this earlier. The fact that I don't need to crane my neck to look at my laptop and I can just be like this and be clicking stuff and be typing stuff like I'm just really happy this stuff makes me happy that has been it guys I will see you guys in the next video make sure you comment like subscribe share this video and I'll see you guys in the next one